Good morning. This is Thursday, June the 8th, 2017. Reading from my utmost for his highest, Oswald Chambers. What next? If ye know these things, happy are you if you do them. John thirteen seventeen. Some great imagery in this reading. Determine to know more than others. If you do not cut the moorings, God will have to break them by a storm and send you out. Launch all on God. Go out on the great swelling tide of his purpose, and you will get your eyes open. If you believe in Jesus, you are not to spend all your time in the smooth waters just inside the harbor bar, full of delight, but always moored. You have to get out through the harbor bar into the great deeps of God and begin to know for yourself. Begin to have spiritual discernment. When you know you should do a thing and do it, immediately you know more. Revise where you have become stodgy spiritually and you will find it goes back to a point where there was something you knew you should do. But you did not do it because there seemed no immediate call to. And now you have no perception, no discernment. At a time of crisis, you are spiritually distracted instead of spiritually self-possessed. It is a dangerous thing to refuse to go on knowing. The counterfeit of obedience is a state of mind in which you work up occasions to sacrifice yourself. Ardor is mistaken for discernment. It is easier to sacrifice yourself than to fulfill your spiritual destiny, which is stated in Romans 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. It is a great deal better to fulfill the purpose of God in your life by discerning his will than to perform great acts of self-sacrifice. To obey is better than sacrifice. Beware of harking back to what you were once when God wants you to be something you have never been. If any man will do, he shall know. The hymn is God Moves in a Mysterious Way by William Cooper. It's spelled C-O-W-P-E-R. I'd encourage you to read about William Cooper, particularly for any of those of us who battle depression. Read the poem and then sing the hymn. God moves in a mysterious way, his wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm. Deep in unfathomable minds of never failing skill, he treasures up his bright designs and works his sovereign will. Ye fearful saints, fresh courage take. The clouds ye so much dread are big with mercy and shall break and blessings on your head. Judge not the Lord by feeble sense, but trust him for his grace. Behind a frowning providence, he hides a smiling face. His purposes will ripen fast, unfolding every hour. The bud may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. 
Blind unbelief is sure to err, and scan his work in vain. God is his own interpreter, and he will make it plain. God moves in a mysterious way, his wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea, and rides upon the storm. Deep in unfathomable minds of never-failing skill, he treasures up his bright designs, and works his sovereign will. Ye fearful saints, fresh courage take, the clouds ye so much dread are big with mercy and shall break in blessings on your head. Judge not the Lord by feeble sense, but trust him for his grace. Behind a frowning providence, he hides a smiling face. His purposes will ripen fast, unfolding every hour. The bud may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. Blind unbelief is sure to err and scan his work in vain. God is his own interpreter and he will make it plain. Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning. This is a day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we have no idea what the future holds, but we know two things, that you hold the future and that you hold us. Let us willingly turn loose of the mooring that keeps us safe and venture out into the adventure of the abundant life which is ours in Christ Jesus. Let us enjoy the ride, whether it be smooth or rough, because we are abiding in you. In Jesus' name, amen.